now that we have everything installed, what we're gonna do is get this guy ready with the store and with the brackets that are gonna hold it in place on the counter. So we have these two L brackets here. Um, we're also gonna need two drill bits to get these brackets installed and the door. That's gonna be regular old Phillips and a T15 bit, which is a star bit, which will be for these longer screws that will hold them in place. First thing we're gonna do is get these brackets set up. I'm gonna have to pull the dishwasher out just a little bit. Kind of upset our cords that are pushed through there. And on the back here, this will basically put a little screw here where I attach the bracket to the dishwasher. And then attach that bracket to the countertop. As you push in the dishwasher, if you're able to or have a helper, just pull all those cords through too so they're not bunched up back there. All right. So we everything we need. And this guy. Now, before we get it screwed into the cabinetry, let's get the door on. And that's going to relieve a lot of pressure too because once the door's on, we can get that door flush with our cabinetry. So we'll change out our Phillips head for our T15. And like I said before, we have four screws that we're going to be removing. Again, that's on the template that came with the dishwasher. You'll know that the bottom are locked in when you can't really pull the door away from the dishwasher itself. Make sure this guy is nice and even. Because once we get these screws set in, it's going to be set in place. You can tell that these screws are much longer than the ones. These are going to go through the dishwasher panel and attach to the door itself. centered, that's going to be the best fit. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap here, uh, opposite over here. So as you can tell, it's tighter up here, wider down here. So what we're going to do is raise this side up to bring this gap wider, this gap in to kind of even it out, which you can probably do Right here. Man. Let's get it even. Cool. So, make sure it's centered in your cabinetry. Cool. This last part to get this installed dishwasher are secured, we're going to go right into those brackets. So same thing with that dishwasher we removed, we took out those brackets, 
when we're getting this guy in, we're going to install it into these two brackets. What that does is secures the dishwasher in place and stops it from wobbling around once you open up the door. So we have our drainage hose here. Um, can, it was up there into our air intake. You can either use an air intake or go right into the garbage disposal, which is what we're going to do because the sizing, this is one inch, the air intake's at a half inch, and we don't have an adapter for that. And this will fit just fine right over our garbage disposal. right there. Basically the reverse of what we did 